Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you're going to edit your tube silhouette images. So we're going to go to File. We're going to open up Photoshop, File, Open. And we're going to go to your, your Google Drive, your digital photo, one folder, and your light painting portraits that you created, that folder. And in there you should have a a file for your tube portraits. And so let's say these are your two portraits. You want to make sure that you open up the CR2 file, which is going to be the image on the left. So I'm going to highlight this image here. I'm going to hold down my control key and I'm going to highlight all of the images. that I took and we're going to open up them in the raw processing window. Okay. And what I want you to do is I want you to find the image that has a medium amount of light. So, so I would say this one is probably your brightest image. And I would say maybe this one right here is your medium light. Um, this one's pretty bright as well. Um, but you're going to highlight all of the images by holding down the control key so that they're all. And we're going to start with this one first, and then I'm going to hold down the control key. Okay. So since this is the brightest image, um, actually, I'm going to start with, like I said, I'm going to start with the medium image. And I believe the medium image is this one or this one. So let's do this one here. And then I'm going to hold down the control key and highlight them all. Okay. And then I'm going to adjust. If we look at our options over here, we have light. I'm going to be adjusting the light. And so I'm going to bring the exposure up just a little bit for the outer edge of this image. Okay. I'm going to bring up the contrast. I'm going to bring the highlights down a little bit. I'm going to bring the shadows down. The whites, the blacks down a little bit. And then I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to bring up the texture so that we see a little more texture in the image. The clarity, it makes it a little bit sharper. Um, I'm going to raise the dehaze a little bit, gets rid of a little fuzziness. And then I'm going to come down here to detail, open that up, and I'm going to move this up to about 40 and the color up to about 40 as well. And now what I want to do is go back and see if I need to adjust down any of these other images, like for example, I adjusted it to be brighter for all of them as every image changed as I was making that adjustment. And, um, you know, maybe like on this image or on, I need to make some of this image a little bit darker. So I'm going to kind of look at these and later on I will make those adjustments. But for now, what I'm going to do is figure out which one I actually want to edit after making this slight adjustment um, of all of these images. I would say that this image here is the strongest composition because of the hand position and the way the thumbs are pointing to the Santa Cruz. But later on, I am going to want to maybe adjust the middle of this image and make it a little bit um, darker so that um, 
it balances a little bit with the outer edge. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and open this image here. Okay. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and open that image again. And I'm going to raw process it one more time. And this time I'm going to go to light and I'm going to bring the exposure down just a little bit for this middle section of the image so I can see some of the details in it. And I'm going to go ahead and open that up again. So now I've got a little bit brighter on the outside and a little bit darker on the inside. And I'm going to do a select all, edit copy, and I'm going to paste it. Control V or just paste. And so now I pasted it above there. And I'm going to go ahead and add a layer mask. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to brighten the outside edge. And I'm going to just bring my opacity down to about 50% so that I'm controlling this a little bit more. And I'm just going to brighten the outer edge so we can see that I've made it a little more balanced on the outer edge and also on the center. Okay. And I'm going to just brighten a little bit on the Santa Cruz so that stands out. Okay, looks pretty good. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both layers and I'm going to duplicate them. And then I'm going to merge those layers by right clicking. And I'm going to merge the layers together and I'm going to rename them retouch. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer by making sure my navigator is open and I'm going to just slide this up and I'm going to start to remove some stuff that I don't want from the image. Now um, there's a couple ways I can do that. I can do it by adding in a vignette or I can also use my cloning tool. And so for this part, for the cloning tool part, I'm going to make sure I'm on my retouch. Now there's a couple tools you can use. You can use the spot healing brush tool. It removes marks and blemishes. Okay. Um, you want to make sure that you have the hardness set to zero and you want a nice soft brush okay so i'm going to demonstrate how to use that you just kind of just i'm going to get rid of some of these little white specks on the sweatshirt and it just you just kind of click on the little white specks and they disappear if you find that that's not working very well for you then you can also use the healing brush tool okay again you want to make sure that you have it hardness set to zero and you then will use your alt key and you will select and you will bring it over you will hold down your alt key get that bullseye and you'll bring it over so this is just going to kind of clean up the sweatshirt a little bit um, and as i move this around i see this little line here i'm going to clean this up here as well and here as well okay and i'm just going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit now i definitely want to remove this but i can do that with a vignette and i definitely want to get rid of the person who is standing in the back 
I can see a little bit of their clothes and I can do that with a vignette as well. Um, and the shoes, I'm going to do that, remove that with the vignette. Uh, you know, you may find using the cloning tool works better or using a vignette. It just depends on what it is. Um, okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is add in a vignette. Solid color, it's going to be black. And then I'm going to go in with my brush tool. And I'm going to click in my layer mask. And I'm going to start to reveal the center. Again, you want to make sure you have a nice soft brush with zero hardness. And we're just going to reveal. Our light painting design here. And I got a little bit of that back, but don't worry, I will get rid of that later. And Let's see here. We don't want these white or blue marks. Okay. So we don't really see the feet on this person, but that's okay. We just have the upper body. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in a little closer and bring this up to the top. And I, I can also do control plus, control minus. That will also zoom in and out holding down the control key, holding the plus or holding the minus. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reverse this by clicking the X on my keyboard, the X or this little toggle. And I'm going to get my brush a little smaller by holding down the bracket key on my keyboard or clicking here. Okay. And I'm going to remove this blue here. Make sure I've got nice solid black up here. And I'm going to remove these as well. So I've got nice solid black. And then I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer by doing control plus. And I'm going to go in here and get in on around this and I'm going to leave, maybe I'll leave a little bit of white just to kind of give a little bit of a, a highlight on the edge of the body there, which actually kind of makes it look like it's part of the lighting. And then I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out. And then I'm going to go ahead and save my image by going to file save as and I'm going to call it tube silhouette portrait TSP underscore my first initial last name and I'm going to click on save and then from here I'm going to turn it into the share drive very important that you turn it into the share drive okay and that is accessible through the assignment so make sure you go back into here and you come over here and click on the link that's appropriate for your class so that you turn in the edited image into the share drive.